When we speak about the Italian Renaissance, it is impossible not to make an episode about the Medici family. Their name is strongly associated with this important period in history, and their influence is so significant that it would be right to say that the Renaissance most probably wouldn't be possible without them. The Medici family holds a prominent place in history for their wealth, influence and power. On this episode, we will take a look at the powerful family and the most important personalities that define their name. The Medici family has its origins in Tuscany. They were originally peasants who resided in the region of Mugello. In the beginning of the 12th century, they became aware of the opportunities afforded by trade and commerce and emigrated to Florence. There, they managed to make a fortune which would later on buy them the title of the wealthiest family in Florence. Ardingo de' Medici became the prior or head of the Florentine Merchant Guild in the 1280s. His rise to such an important position foretold the elevation of other Medici to Florence's ruling castle, the Signoria, over the next few centuries. The Signoria comprised of nobles, important residents, and intellectuals, and was the oligarchic institution that ran the Florentine Republic. Medici's influence in Florence grew through their financial penetration as bankers. The Medici Bank arrived in Florence thanks to Giovanni de Bici de Medici. Founded in 1397, the Medici Bank quickly expanded and opened up branches as far away as England. In time, the Medici Bank became the main financial institution of the papacy. With a ready source of capital, the Medici were able to turn to such new lines of commerce as trading spices, jewelry, silk and fruit. By mid-century, the Medici began to outdistance their main political rivals, the Albizzi, and under Cosimo de' Medici, Medici ascendancy was assured. Cosimo's rise to power proved very dangerous and costly, as his rivalry with Rinaldo degli Albizzi almost got him executed. As the leading citizen of Florence, Cosimo de' Medici was able to advance his family's interest while serving his city. For 30 years, he wisely managed state affairs. His connection to the Peace of Lodi in 1454, a treaty between Venice and Milan that brought peace to the region, is an example of that political savvy. Lorenzo de' Medici, known as Lorenzo the Magnificent, who ruled Florence during 1469 to 1492, was as able an administrator as his grandfather Cosimo. His style of rule was similar as well. Like Cosimo, he cleverly worked in conjunction with the Civic Council. Lorenzo married into an important and well-established noble family, the Orsini, which gave the wealth and political advantage of the Medici the support of aristocratic blood. He was able to secure Florence against her enemies, gain new allies and increase the security of his own position. His success as a diplomat and politician enabled Lorenzo to gain influence with the papacy, which had relied on the Medici bank for many years. Giovanni, Lorenzo's son, became a cardinal and then Pope Leo X. Michelangelo, who had found the patron in Lorenzo, later found one in Pope Leo, under whose patronage he began work on the Medici chapel. While known for their incredible rise in Florentine politics, the Medici are equally well known as patrons of the arts. Patronage of artists and intellectual was not only normal but vital for without it, most artists could not find work and thus had a difficult time supporting themselves. While patronage gave artists a livelihood, it also earned the patron prestige. Works of art, especially those on public display, gave fame to artists and patron alike. Medici money backed some of the brightest luminaries of Renaissance art, like Donatello, famous for his bronze statue of David, and Michelangelo, who worked for the Medici off and on during much of his career. It was Lorenzo that gave Michelangelo access to the classical statuary in his garden. Both Cosimo and Lorenzo helped scholars locate and acquire ancient and medieval manuscripts. A Platonic school under Marsilio Ficino, a library at the Monastery of San Marco, and manuscript production were all Medici-sponsored projects. The contributions of the Medici to the culture and history of the Renaissance are hard to ignore. Florence was home to many Renaissance figures, men like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci and Niccolo Machiavelli, all while the city was under Medici administration. Despite the fact that Florence was a republic, the Medici were so powerful that they essentially ruled the city, even representing it diplomatically. 
The family's rise from obscure peasantry to a leading house in Europe highlights certain aspects of what scholars have come to define as the Renaissance. For example, Renaissance thinkers believe that humans had the potential to change their situation and improve their lives through education and diligence. Often reflected in the art and writing of the Renaissance is the idea that educated, worldly individuals were better able to serve and improve society. The Medici use their talents not only to gain power and prestige for themselves, but also use their influence to improve the quality of life of those in their charge, to sponsor cultural endeavors and to keep Florence free from foreign domination. Thank you for watching this episode. Before you leave, like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on history of art and history of cinema. See you next time.